Just like homes for the holidays. My name is Eric Johnson, and it is my privilege to be able to work with your singers every day on learning the basics of choral music. Tonight, you're going to see a semester's worth of beautiful work exhibited by all our choirs. Before we begin our concert, just a few couple of reminders. Number one, we are recording this video and audio-wise that will be placed on the Holmes Course website in the coming weeks that you can go and view. If you go to the Holmes Course website currently in the news section, you'll find links from our links to our videos from the productions of Cinderella and our talent show, which we held a little bit before Thanksgiving. So our website is for one-stop shopping. If you're not sure what the website is, it's listed at the bottom of the fourth page in the program in the online section. So those videos will be available hopefully in the coming weeks so you can share with family and friends. Also, since we are being recorded, we ask that you treat our singers as professional musicians because that's what they are. They have been trained to be professional musicians, and we ask that you extend that courtesy to them by showing your appreciation to them only with your applause. We can say all the hollering for later. They know you're here because more than likely you drove them. So, also keep in mind that this is what we like to call an open auditorium. So any sound that you make in the lobby comes right back in through the upstairs balcony as there are no doors that close that off. Also, please keep in mind, do not use flash photography. I've been distracted by quite a few bright lights already while I've been making my announcements while the singers are performing because it is distracting for both them, our companies, and myself. Other than that, I would like to introduce the sixth grade chorus. We all have these glorious things. Please make sure they're off so they don't make sound with us as we perform. I just turned mine off. <laughs> Oh, 
starting in October on 99.5 WMAG, and no, that's not a plug for their radio station. So tonight you'll hear some of the traditional carols, but also some old world <coughs> carols. The piece the sixth grade just performed was entitled Dormi Dormi, which is an Italian Christmas lullaby. So the Italian part was lulling the child to sleep, but as we know, children don't like to go to sleep when we plan for them to, and they often wake back up, and that's what the fala la section is representative of. Um, the first piece, Happy Holidays and Dormy Dormy, were sung in what we call unison. With sixth grade, we start on building the beautiful sound that you hear and creating just an individual tone because these students, many of them had never been in a choir before. So we start building that tone quality. Once we built the tone quality that was very pleasing to the ear and that is a gorgeous sound, then we move on to part singing. The next piece, Antiphonal Deck the Halls, is based on echoes. So you'll hear one half of the choir singing, the other half of the choir singing. Our choir is made up of two different classes, 6-1 and 6-2. There is no difference between the two choral classes, it's just for scheduling purposes. Essentially, I put them in alphabetical order and went orange highlighter, green highlighter, orange highlighter, green highlighter, and put all the orange in 6-1 and all the green in 6-2. So many of them had never sung before, all coming from different schools, and then they just combined yesterday for their first time singing as a large group. So we hope you enjoy and tip and deck the hall.
the song that you just heard arranged by Jill Galena on a silent night is written in what we call a partner song style, in which you heard the choir all sing on a starlit night melody, and it was paired with the familiar Christmas carol, Silent Night, and then they combined those two melodies together at the end. Before we present our last piece, an original composition by Sally Albrecht and Jay Althaus called Angels in the Snow, I always try not to forget, but sometimes I do forget to thank one of the most important people in our choral program, and I always like to do it during sixth grade time because I first met this wonderful woman when I was a sixth grader um, at Western Rockingham Middle School. She was my choral director, and when I came here to Holmes nine years ago, I found out that she was the accompanist, and that is the incredibly talented and gifted Miss Cindy Dyer. I cannot hold a candle to her at the piano. They barely learn their songs with my piano playing. So it's always great that we have such a talented member of our community that comes in and works with the student, with the students and still puts up with me after knowing me as a sixth grader. And after nine Christmas concerts and what will be our 10th anniversary spring concert. So the sixth grade chorus would like to present their final song for you, Angels in the Snow.
doing that. You wouldn't even say that. Yes, I Hey. <laughs> so, I'm putting my other shoes on. These are cute. 